Well, as you can guess, a museum such as this has a lot of, uh, a lot of tools to do with saddlery, well, not saddlery, leather work, leather workers. You have to remember that just about everything was done, transport, all of the shifting, it's all done by horses. And so a saddler or a leather worker would be of prime importance. I thought we'd have a look at it one or two. This one. You've given the game away when we say it's leather workers, but you probably guess. A saddle maker would use these because he had to get these saddles stuffed evenly, smoothly. And I sometimes wonder just how he managed to get them so smooth. That's one of the tools he would have used. He could different angles, push, push the stuffing down, could hug it back out with these bits. This one. <laughs> it's obviously, it's a saddler's mallet. But that, believe me, is heavy. It's heavy because it's uh, it's made of lignum. It's uh, protected now. You're not allowed to use it. Shape and work leather with that oil. What do they do? Here we've got another one. This is like a, like a little vice. It's uh, just slightly, slightly sprung. With that between his knees, gripping the section that needed uh, stitching, the two parts that needed stitching together, it would give him both hands free for stitching in. But when you when you look at the work that was done, you can see on this lady's side saddle, whatever that was stuffed with, to get it so smooth and perfect. You can see why he needed a, a seven year apprenticeship because it would be a year or two before a lad was, was able to do anything. That was, that was the wonder of Alice, you would get a year son into it at an early age. Yes. But, uh, see something like that. So you've got all these straps everywhere, underneath more. Some there. That bit. On some of these parts, you couldn't make a mistake, or see, that's the whole thing ruined. You can fully understand why it was a seven year apprenticeship was necessary. It, it would be some time before a lad could uh, do anything really useful at all. Perhaps make the tea, but I mean, uh, this was another part of the work. That's known as a queen. And that, if this wasn't quite a sufficiently comfortable seat, uh, sit, if it wasn't comfortable enough for madam, that was laced onto it eh, to give it packing. I'm told they still make these, but they make them now, most of them, out of 
out of canvas. But if you look at the, <laughs> the stitching going along here, perfect. I'm told when a few people looked at the name on there, and it was a very high class saddle maker. The address there says Oxford Street. Well, can you imagine the saddler in Oxford Street, <laughs> the West End? I mean, they were so important. You can't imagine it, can we? And this, I'm very proud of it, was my Christmas present to me. You can usually get exactly what you want from your own Christmas present. <laughs> it's got everything nice about it. The finish, the balance, it's... Every detail is as it should be. Well, they call it a mechanical bellows for a fireplace. And this would generate a little bit of wind to get the fire going. One thing I am sure about, it, it was not for the uh, servants' quarters, this one. 